Hello, I'm Richard Dodd, a sophomore here at the University of Arkansas, and this is my friend. I'm Justin, also a sophomore at the University of Arkansas. And, and today we're going to be exploring the topic on continuity and how it relates to the Internet of Things. And um, a certain aspect of it, we kind of wanted to dive deep into the, the Apple essence of it. And do you want to go into just a little more? About continuity? Yeah, and how yeah. Apple and how Apple achieves its goals through that. So Apple uses continuity as a way to integrate all of its devices. And you can see this when uh, your emails and your text messages go across your devices, whether that's from your computer to your phone or from your phone to your connected watch. Yeah, yeah, and... Uh... It's very it's very convenient for everybody that does have iPhones. I'm not really familiar with Android, but I'm sure they have something just like that. But I know I know you're wearing an Apple Watch too. Why don't you show the camera that real quick? So when he gets a text message through his phone, it buzzes on his wrist, and I think that's a great example of what continuity is and how it is truly seamless. How does continuity? Uh, interact with the Internet of Things, and what, what role does that play? Well, I think an important first question before we jump into this is what the Internet of Things actually is. Because I don't think you can understand how it interacts with something that you don't know much about. Sure, and that's a great point to discuss. So the Internet of Things is a system of interrelated uh, computing devices, mechanical or digital. Uh, these could be objects, uh, people, or machines that have the ability to transfer over data over a network without requiring human-to-human -human or human-to-machine computer interaction. So, do, now that we know what the Internet of Things is, do you, can we go back and answer that question? And how does continuity interact with the Internet of Things? Definitely. So, continuity interacts with the Internet of Things by sharing data across these devices so that you don't even see the difference in the notification going from your watch to your computer to your phone. It all just happens at the same time. And that's the beautiful part of the Internet of Things. And it's only made possible through that. Because otherwise, these notifications would not be in sync and they'd be out of order. It wouldn't be helpful and wouldn't make you more productive. And, and do you think that that makes companies... Have, is that an obstacle for companies or do you think companies can use that to their advantage? use continuity to their advantage? Sure. Well, of course, because the more seamless and the more integrated all your devices become, the more efficiently and the more productive your company can run. Yeah, I, t I totally agree with that. So as we explore this topic of continuity, um, I think we should dive into the business side of things, don't you think? Of course. So if you don't mind me asking, how does the technology or how does continuity and maybe in a general stance, how does that affect uh, businesses on different levels? Well, I think one of the major ways that businesses have been using continuity is the adoption of BYOD. Or okay, what's that? Bring your own device. Okay. So companies are having people bring their own computer to work because they want to, because it's integrated with things they already have. So people that already have a Mac probably already have an iPhone and might already have an Apple Watch. And they don't want to lose that level of connection and seamless integration that they're used to just when they come to work and use their computer. And there are some great examples of how these devices are connected. Would you care to elaborate on those? Yeah, and, and specifically Apple. We, yeah. We're jumping back to Apple because they do such a great job of this topic of continuity. And I mean, there's, there's several, several features that Apple allows uh, their consumers to do such as making calls um, from your laptop and your phone will actually start ringing up somebody so you can pick up your phone if it's charging on the desk a little ways away and that's just on a personal level but besides just from your phone to your laptop it, it really starts getting interesting when you can go from your laptop to someone else's laptop and, and Apple does a great job of this in their feature called AirDrop. So this lets you be able to seamlessly connect with not only your own personal devices, but also everybody else's, 
all their devices in the same room or the general area. And that really brings a whole new level of continuity into the equation when it's not just your devices that are connected, but you and your coworkers or you and your friends devices that are connected. To finish up uh, discussing continuity and its role in major areas really, uh, one in business and what role it plays, uh, and two in how it interacts with the internet of things. I think it's important that we take a step back and look at the pros and cons of how continuity can affect us in our day-to-day -day life. I think it's definitely important to keep the drawbacks of continuity in mind, mm -hmm. just because sometimes people feel too connected to their devices. I know I felt this way when my phone's in another room and I'm fully focused on something and my text messages, they pull up on my watch and I just feel like I can't get away from it. And it's hard to disconnect whenever everything is so integrated. And I think that goes with work too. Your email's on your phone. And if you bring your own device to work, then that email is with you anytime you get on your computer, even for personal reasons. Yep. But there are also positive things that we've talked about. And it's important to find a balance. Sure, somewhere. yeah. Finding that, that balance is uh, very key. But... A lot of the times, the benefits can outweigh the, the negatives in situations. And I think this is a good example because the continuity allows us to be connected more globally than we ever have been ever. There really is a, a new level of communication we've gotten to because of this. And you, and you can argue that it's became, you, you can be more personal because you have more contact with people. And I think That's it's a fair point. I think it's important that, that we look at that too. So this is our discussion on what continuity was. I, I hope you enjoyed it. I, 